Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Hey there, welcome to another edition of Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com. Now, if you're looking for performance parts for your vehicle, high quality performance parts, there is a one-stop shop. It's called SpeedFX. You can find them at speed-fx.com. Brick, what is your mantra? Dave, like you said, it's high quality components between uh, utility jugs to exhaust systems to performance plumbing as well as distributors. And what we do is we engineer and make these products meet the highest standards and reliability, but also they're budget friendly and meet any budget needs for any project. Talk about your catalog. How many parts are we talking? How many different items? Thousands of products. I mean, between different tip configurations, different mufflers. We also have tools and other accessories for engines. Heck, you talk about performance hose and then fittings. There's thousands of there alone. I want to showcase the MaxFlow Extreme exhaust systems here and tell me what makes it special. Some of the very special features about MaxFlow Extreme is that we use a full synthetic 304 stainless steel on our mufflers, our mandrel bent and CNC piping and even down to our tips. Basically what synthetic is a higher nickel content for less corrosion and more durability. What about the power and what about the sound? Definitely going to give you a more throaty, aggressive, powerful sound. Anytime you hit the go fast pedal, you're going to enjoy it. Meanwhile, still maintaining cabin and street sound quality so the neighbor shouldn't complain. And one thing that you brag about when it comes to the Max Flow Extreme is the cold start. Absolutely, yes. When you fire this up, you hear the throat, you hear the performance, you hear the aggression from your vehicle first thing, and it's basically music to any auto enthusiast's ears. How does a system like this compare to the OE system when it comes on a vehicle generally? What it compares is it's performance improvements in the sound based on our mufflers. It has mandrel bent, not cramped, and bent piping, which could cause deflection in the exhaust and loss of power. And the nice thing, too, is we also have custom applications as far as exit. Every kit comes with two exit options, whether straight out the rear or out to the side. That's custom that usually doesn't come with OE options, as well as the fact that each kit comes with replacement parts and clamps and mounting equipment for any of the OEM defects or needs. Our project management and engineering team sat around when we were designing and developing these systems and talking through it, and all of us being car guys or truck guys or installers and enthusiasts ourselves, we said, when installing systems and wrenching on our own vehicles, what were the pain points we had or what were the frustrations we had? And we tried to literally engineer those frustrations and pain points out of the system. So when you install this, you get a complete system that covers all woes, fits like stock, perfectly engineered, CNC to match in stock locations, and gives you a great sound, a great style and look and obviously picked up in performance. Now, the installation process, what is that like? It's simple, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Able to do it on most Jeep and truck applications on your back of your driveway if you're a DIYer. If you're one that likes to take it to the shop, your mechanic and your install shop's gonna thank you because they should be able to pretty much easily install this within like hour, hour and a half tops and everything, giving you performance improvements and how we've laid out the system to fit your application specifically. I know when you're installing a system like this, there are some parts you can reuse and you might be able to, but what are some red flags and how do you take care of that? So SpeedFX, we include the red flag pieces with you, particularly on this application that you install the exhaust on today. The clamp that goes around the catalytic converter to the exhaust system is known to corrode and stick and be on and basically unreusable. So in our kits, we include one for ease of installation and ready use so you're not fighting or forcing with it. Some of the engineering quality within our system is we use 300 series wire fill when welding our mufflers as well as our pipes on our systems. What that does is gonna give you a lot more durability, less corrosion, less flex in the system. It also makes it very high temperature heat resistant for multiple heat cycles, especially with such larger engines and larger displacements on certain trucks. It'll always fit and form in the stock location, in the stock mounts. It'll give you that peace of mind. How confident are you that these products are gonna last a long time? MaxFlow Extreme is backed by a limited lifetime warranty, and that way it gives not only the installer, but also the end consumer the utmost confidence in buying this product. And you mentioned the website, where else can we find all your products? You can find our entire catalog, as you said before, at speed-fx.com, but you can find us on the internet at major e-com retailers like partsvia.com, extremeterrain.com, as well as o'reillyparts.com, the name of few. 
Well, while you run to the internet, we're going to take a short break, but be sure to come back because we've got a whole lot more at Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com right around the corner. Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com is brought to you by RockAuto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. And by Innovation Performance Technologies. Racing to innovate. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com. Now, if you are a car builder or if you've had a car restored for any length of time, you know communication is key. Now, Mike, you're here from Ion Classic to tell us that Ion Classic is the best way to document restorations. Why is it so important to have that documentation? Documentation is key. When you're doing a build or a restoration, so if you're helping a customer build his dream car, like this 33 Ford we've got here behind us, or you're just doing a repaint job or something, right? Understanding what happens at that time during that process is key. And keeping customers engaged with you as you're doing these builds and these restorations is absolutely fabulous way to kind of make sure they understand the value of all your workmanship and craftsmanship that's being poured into these vehicles. And as you know, the cost of these vehicles these days and the cost of doing these restorations is astronomical. And making sure that it's documented well and that that documentation for Ion Classic, the way we do it, is we not only help you collect all this restoration documentation, whether it's one of your shop technicians, a dozen of your shop technicians, or even people that are working on cars outside of your shop, so if you're using an upholstery shop, shall we say. All of those folks are all coordinated through the Ion Classic platform. And we put all of this material together, all this content, and whether you're doing receipts and pictures of the actual parts of the build, paint jobs, everything that you're doing. And we keep it in one place, secure and backed up, up in the cloud. And we coordinate all that so that the owner can follow along in real time. And I think that's really the, some of the key things. There's many other elements we can talk about. But the fact that we take all the pictures, all the material, we store it, we coordinate it, and then we allow them to follow along in real time. And as somebody who's been in the car business a long time, you know that if they can understand what's happening every day of their build, they're a lot happier customer. And I've been in a lot of build shops, and from their end, we're taking a million photos, trying to keep it organized, and then maybe it goes off to paint. Well, you tell the painter, can you paint it over there, or the upholstery guy? And now you've got to figure out how to assemble all of that. You've streamlined the process, to say the least. You're absolutely right, and I think what we found when we were talking to a lot of the shops when they're looking at this platform is that we didn't realize how much of a problem it was for them to take, store, and coordinate all these pictures from all these different sources. And customers, you know, when they leave with their vehicles, they want all that information. They want to be able to hold it and be able to have it. And it used to be days gone by, it was a bill book. So now it's all online. And when we coordinate all that, whether it's your technicians or the technicians in something like an upholstery shop, they're all coordinated for you. And with one simple email address, and I think this is really important you know, for this 33 Ford, where we've taken some pictures, put them online, you can see them there on the last app right there. Yep. And if you click them, it'll actually show you the pictures as you scroll through them. With one simple email, we can take all of that data that's stored from that particular car as it went through the process and transfer it to the owner. Follows the owner from owner to owner to owner. And you know, we started this as an amateur restoration person who's built cars and then sold them at auction. I thought what an advantage it would be for that next owner to have everything that I've done fully documented, which I did, it was thousands of pictures at the fingertips. And what's interesting is for them to have their friend follow along. And in the car business and in the car hobby, we all know folks that are car folks and they want to be able to follow along and see the progress of your car. And I see the QR codes too, when he takes his car to a show, yeah. how do they use that? This is an exciting feature we just added last year. So the app is fully integrated now with QR codes. And some people like to make them little placards so you can basically have a placard in the windshield. Some like to use a sticker. And for shops, some of them like to have build sheets that follow the car along through the shop so the technicians can find them. But what we've done is we've connected these QR codes to the builder. So now if I'm building a car and after a year, two years, three years of a restoration and it goes out to a car show and somebody goes, wow, I'd always dreamed of having a 33 Ford Roadster and they hit that QR code, it brings up the app and you'll see the full information on the actual car. So you can actually see the details of the vehicle. So you can see the owner and you also see the shop that built it. And we think that's probably one of the biggest values is 
there's some amazing craftsmanship that comes out of so many of these restoration shops and builders when they're doing custom cars from scratch. How do you connect the work after it leaves the shop? And that's how we do it. We do it through these QR codes so that people in these car events and you know, parades and car shows, they can instantly find out everything they could through the old fashioned playbook, have it on their phone, but also get instantly connected to the shop that built it. It's the perfect way to document your vehicle, tell your vehicle story from start to finish, whether you're the builder or the owner, this is a must have. You can find it at ionclassic.com. And you can find more Motorhead Garage presented by dragonfiretools.com when we come back do not go anywhere. Motorhead Garage, brought to you by Dragon Fire Tools. Quality tool storage for your shop or garage. Thanks for tuning in to Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com. Now, with vehicles, any vehicle, the rubber seals are the first thing to go. We all know that, Danny. Uh, they degrade over the years. Why do they go so fast? Well, rubber tends to biodegrade, and especially the seals that were used on these cars originally, it was actually a latex seal. A lot of people don't know latex is a natural material, and it biodegrades quick. So replacing your rubber seals can be tricky, especially on a street ride like this. How can steel rubber make it more simple? Yeah, you know, replacing them can be tricky because you're trying to find the right fit. It's very specific sometimes. So if you're working on a car, what we have done is made custom on-demand catalogs. So if you've got a 33 Ford, we can send you a catalog for a 33 Ford with the bits and pieces that we offer for it. Yes, it's a 33 Ford, but it is a hand-built hot rod. Exactly, so this is a fiberglass car. The chassis is not steel, it's not from 1933. The OEM parts won't fit it exactly like it would on a original 1933. So you're gonna have to find seals that work for this car. Before we get into the specific seals on this, how do I find out what seals I'm gonna need or, or what I'm gonna use once I start to look at the car? Because you guys have, what, 15,000 different parts in your catalog? Yeah, we have a lot, but we make it real easy for each person because we narrow it down for what they're looking for. Just like this, we would probably point you towards our street rod catalog, which has everything for the engine compartment, the glass, your doors, your trunk, all in sections, so you can go through the vehicle and find out exactly what you need. And then once I have a general idea, what's my next step? You know, you know you're gonna work on the radiator and the cow and your door glass, then you can get that catalog. You can figure out what size of seal you need. That's a little bit of a tricky part, but we've got some tips that can help you figure that out. And then we can even send you samples so you can test fit. And sample packs cost nothing, right? Yeah, free sample packs. You know, you just tell us what you're working on as far as like, I wanna put a hood decal on, we'll send you a sample pack for that. Well, I want that and the doors, we'll send you both and it's just a real easy way to get a little piece of the product, test fit it, make sure it seals right, not too much, and then you can get some seal. So let's look at this vehicle in particular and maybe some of the common areas where seals start to go bad and where seals are used. A lot of folks think about the windows, but they don't think about the rest of the car. Yeah, so like I mentioned, you know, from the radiator and the cow, you've got a seal. You know, originally those keep fumes out of the cow vent. The cow vent's not in this vehicle like it was originally. Even stuff like the headlights, the mounting pads for those, the side mirrors. Since this is a convertible, you've got a header bow, which goes across the top of your windshield. You've got the windshield gasket your belt line or window felts, the fuzzies, your door seal. So there's a lot of rubber. And then, you know, your trunk, your bumpers, all those things are in that catalog and are parts that you're gonna need to make it weatherproof. So it's easy enough to find a seal that you have there, maybe uh, cut a sample off of it or something and compare it to the sample kit or something in the catalog. But what about like the trunk of this now? There's no seal back here. And just by eyeballing it, you can't tell exactly what you need. So if we wanna add one, how can I tell what I need there? I can't tell just by eyeballing it. Yeah, so, this piece has a flange that goes down in here. So one thing that we suggest is taking a piece of putty, sticking it down in the channel, closing the trunk or door, and then that will give you a mold of what that gap size is. You can then take that, get a measurement off of it, and you can see where that channel hits, and then you can take your measurement. Maybe you go a sixteenth inch over, but that'll be what gap size you're trying to fill. Well, that's one place we want to seal where we didn't have one. And we, you noticed a couple of things here when you were looking at the car over here. And of course, anybody can see that one on the A pillar there. This was a custom kind of cut piece that ended up working, but now 18 years later, it's starting to fall apart. And visually, this catches the eye really easy. So that's definitely going to be something that we want to replace. And it's very easy to do so with some of the peel and stick. 
And then inside the door, there's another seal that you noticed is going bad, and this one's easy to see as well. Yeah, so again, another seal that was just something that would work. That uses a cheaper pressure-sensitive tape, and we use a, a 3M tape, so it's, it's a lot more substantial than what that is, and it's not going to degrade like that does. Gotcha. Well, we're going to be working on that next time we see Danny in steel rubber here on Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonfireTools.com. we still got a lot more in this episode coming up, so please stay tuned. Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonfireTools.com, is brought to you by NextGen, the most powerful detailing products ever made. You are tuned in to Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonfireTools.com. Now, Motorheads, you know, if you've ever changed a tire, maybe using a jack like this or throwing it up on the lift, you know that getting the tire off is easy. Getting it back on can really be a pain, even for seasoned veterans out there. And Kevin, I got to tell you, I've, I've taken a look at this and believe me when I tell you, this is going to change your life. This is revolutionary. This is the tire cart from Track. And Kevin, first of all, let's talk about the inspiration for it. We had a technician working in our shop that was struggling taking a tire off a vehicle. He was a little bit older and just that was his job as a mechanic, of course, to pull the tires down. But like you said, getting it down is easy. Putting it back up is difficult and he had to struggle and he was moaning and groaning. And I said, well, what do you say we build you a cart that can help you? So we put something on it with some rollers. The rest is history. Brought it to SEMA. First year we presented it at SEMO, we won the 2019 New Product Award. And rightfully so. We're going to let Thank the product speak for itself here. Let's see how it works. So when your vehicle's up in the air, we're just going to simply slide it underneath and we're going to cradle the tire. After we cradle the tire, we're going to pull the support arm up. And the support arm is just a safety arm. It's just going to keep the tire in place. The tool itself has a lug nut holder. So as we go to remove the lug nuts, we're going to simply put them in the holder. From here, let the cart do the work for you. And that is it. Just simply roll it away. Now, for some reason, if you need to rotate your tire for any reason, if it doesn't line up to the hub after your work, those rollers allow you to do just that. When you go to slide it back in, if the lugs don't line up, just simply rotate it to where they do. Now you're on. But this isn't just for mechanics, detailers. For them, there's a special feature as well. That's correct. So high-end wheels, any kind of high-end vehicle that's got a low clearance between the wheel and the rotor, basically what you're going to do is you're going to pull it back off. This has the ability to pivot. And then as you're detailing, you could just simply rotate your tire and make sure you get all the nooks and crannies of it. So it's an easy way to detail tall, wipe everything down. The head can pivot back around. You lock it in place. And again, when you go to put it back on, we're just going to rotate it until it lines up like it does, and then we just simply slide it back on as I do that. So let's talk about construction here. Is this going to last? If I'm a professional, I've got one of these. We have a lifetime warranty on this tool. It's made in the USA. Pretty interesting here on the actual pedestal. Yes. Where'd that idea come from? You ever been in a barber chair? That's where we got the inspiration on the pump. It's just a super simple design that we know that works. Simply crank it up, and when you have to go down, you just put your foot all the way through it, and then it drops out of the way. Now that's great for the professional that has a lift, but what about folks like me doing it in the driveway, using their tops of their feet, every part of their body trying to get the tire off and put it back on? It is such a struggle. How'd you solve that problem? Well, we've got a leverage tool that is just going to pick the tire on and off. And this is so, called the tire jack. This is the tire jack. We've got a roller on the backside to help you roll the tire to the hub. With leverage, we're going to pick it up. I'm looking through the wheel to line up the lugs, and it's on. Just that simple. The lever has been around for 7,000 years. It's been waiting for this moment. <laughs> this is from Track. You can find this at liftwithtrack.com. Both of these tools are going to revolutionize how you change tires. Now, you may think you're a neat freak when it comes to your vehicle. Maybe you take it to the car wash every single week. Maybe you clean the interior and vacuum it. But I bet the inside of your windshield looks terrible like mine does. You probably haven't touched it in months. Tell me, Aaron. Why do people avoid the inside of the windshield so much? Well, let me ask you, Dave, how often do you do the inside of your windshield? As I said, just about never. Just about never, and it's because it's hard to do, right? Yep. It's hard to reach in there. It's hard to get past your dashboard. It's hard to get past the steering wheel. We've solved your problem here. So you have an inside paddle and you have an outside paddle held together by a strong magnetic force. Put a towel on each side, spray it with cleaner, and go to town. You can do the inside and the outside at the same time here. That's correct. Now there's the basic kit there, the, the gift set. You also have stuff for pros, and I know you yourself are a pro, and those kits are available on the website as well. So, but let's see how it actually works here. You're gonna spray your outside towel and set your, your paddle down. 
Do the same thing with your inside paddle. Give a nice generous spray. Connect the two paddles and start washing. And as you can see, I'm washing the inside and the outside at the same time very effectively, easily. That's fantastic. And what about a vehicle like this? If you're wondering if you got a Jeep, maybe a semi truck, locomotive, jet aircraft, something you can't reach the inside or the outside of. Well, this is a simple job too. Let me show you. All you have to do is you get both pads wet. This can rest there while you're getting the inside towel ready to go. Now I know, Aaron, you are a professional detailer, as I mentioned. Correct. Yep. How much time and effort does this save you every day in your job? This is saving me at least half the time. And as a detailer, that means more money in my pocket. I'm getting it done faster, and I'm not breaking my back reaching over the steering wheel. As you can tell, you're doing everything very easily from the outside. Well, if you're a pro, or if you just want to keep your windshield clean at home, this is the way to go, let me tell you. It's called the Windshield Wow. You can find it at windshieldwow.com. You don't have to go to the SEMA show to see the latest and greatest in the automotive aftermarket stuff. You can just tune in Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com. We'll bring it to your living room. We're going to do it once again next week. We hope you join us then. Until then, from our entire crew, so long.